I can speak to the Bishop of Dover, Rose Hudson Wilkin. Good morning, Bishop. Thank you for joining us. I know it's, uh, it's, a, it's one of the busiest working days of the year for you. Good morning, and I, I'm in Senate because I'm just about ready to do a confirmation service. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, um, what impact is COVID having on worship and worshippers this year? The, the, the church has also borne the brunt of uh, the impact of COVID in terms of, you know, we had the church locked and then uh, people have started coming back, but there is social distancing and some people are still shielding and it has impacted on the church uh, financially in the same way that it has uh, um, impacted on business and, and ordinary people's lives. But, you know, we are God's church. This belongs to God. And so we are there to be a sign of hope, a sign of hope for the community and the world around us. Is that sign of hope going to be open to worshippers through Christmas and New Year? I believe that we will be open uh, through Christmas and going into the new year. You know, we have learned what to do and how to manage in this pandemic time. We have learned how to um, make sure that we keep safe within our churches, something that we didn't know initially, but we do know that now, and we will continue to make sure that we are safe once we're in our buildings. If the government <coughs> were to say, we're not going to legislate, but we really would prefer people not to gather, what advice will you give to the priests in your diocese about, for example, uh, uh, so Christmas morning or Christmas Eve uh, services, or Christmas morning, uh, and indeed, uh, what in the old days we used to call watch night services at the end of the year? You know, because, as I said, we now know how to keep ourselves safe in terms of washing, you know, we're going to have to live with coronavirus. Um, it's not going to disappear. And so we can't just lock ourselves away. But what we can do is that we can stay safe. We wear our mask, we clean our hands regularly, uh, we keep social distances, we don't uh, gather unless we have to. So I would want the clergy in my diocese to make the kind of decisions that says we are keeping you safe when you come through these doors. I trust my clergy and I am sure they will make the right decision. You, um, this is a politics show, so of course I've got to ask you something on that, though of course not partisan. You've probably seen more of politics than um, any uh, cleric of any denomination having been chaplain to the House of Commons. Um, getting us through the pandemic does depend on the authority of our leaders. Um, do you have any fear that the scandals and the revelations of the past year have damaged uh, the, if you like, the moral authority of politicians? I think without a doubt, we have to say that the mixed messages and the do what I say and not as I do will undoubtedly have an impact on, on, on the nation going forward in terms of how we respond. And so I would want to encourage our politicians, our political leaders to actually ensure that the messages that they're giving to the wider community is a clear message and also that they follow the message themselves and, and, and you know that they say this is for all of us and not just for you and, and, and not ourselves. We do our own thing. In a way, you're echoing uh, the Archbishop of Canterbury's um, message the other day, which is an appeal for honesty in politics. Yes, well, you know, it's not just honesty in politics. It's honesty in our lives, the need for us to live uh, lives uh, that uh, is credible um, for all to see. Um, so, you know, let's not, it's, let's not beat, beat the politicians alone. Um, it's for all of us uh, to adhere to. Um, 
Bishop, uh, I, I wouldn't do anything so vulgar as to ask you to summarize uh, your upcoming sermon and and of course, some of our I would love to. <laughs> some of our viewers won't share our faith. But in 30 seconds or so, um, it's been a tough year. What is the shepherd's message to the flock? I think the, the main message that I want to share is that God loved, for God so loved the world. And it is from that love that God gave. So what we have is this generous God who gives off himself to the world in his son, Jesus Christ, who Thank came you. to dwell with us. So Thank that's you. my message. Let's practice Thank that you. Love. Thank you, Bishop.